Hello, this is tutorial 2 for subject CLD10502 and I believe we are still in chapter 1 and for this tutorial we will discuss on dimensional homogeneity and dimensionless quantity so let's move on to the first question so for the first question is which of the following quantities are dimensionless so uh, dimensionless quantities can be simplified as quantities that doesn't have mass which is mass length and time so we can check from 1a to g and this the first one is 68 degree which doesn't have mass length or time so this unit is dimensionless and while sine 68 degree also doesn't have all these three so that means it's also dimensionless and e to the power of 68 also e doesn't have any values so that's dimensionless while force is in Newton which is mass something I can't remember but so this is non-dimensionless dimensionless and while number six is well it's just a number so that is dimensionless so while frequency is in Hertz so Hertz is one over time so frequency is non dimensionless it has dimension while the last one which is log of 0 0.0034 log doesn't have a dimension log doesn't have a value means the mass length or time so log is a dimensionless quantities all right so that's question one we move to the next question so question two wants us to determine the dimension of the following quantities let's go to the first one which is volume volume is meter cube and then so the dimension is for meter is L so L cube next is acceleration acceleration is velocity over time so velocity is meter per second so that's L over time and then over time so the time goes up and then in the end it become L over time square so that's dimension for acceleration for density is mass over volume so mass is m and volume is l3 so ml3 so that's for density next is force which is mass time acceleration and mass is m and acceleration is l over T2 so M time L over T2 so in the end it becomes M L over T2 and next is charge not charge charge and it's meant by current times time so current the symbol for current is I and times time is I T so that's for charge the next is pressure which is force over area so we have force just now which is ML over T2 so ML over T2 and then area is M no not M L square L square 
so in the end the value becomes m over l t2 so that's for force the next one is the square of volume so we have volume l3 so l3 times 2 so l6 so that's for volume square the last one is electrical field which is force divided by charge so we have force just now which is ml over t2 so ml over t2 divide by charge which is it it and then the final result for electrical field is m l over i t cube so this is i not t all right so that's question two we move to the next question this is question three and it wants us to do to stated the dimensions of each question so let's start on the first one you just give a number three so there's no dimension of it so it's dimensionless this and then the second one is height so height is distance so that's just L the third one is frequency frequency is in her is Hertz which is one over time so the dimension is T minus one the next one is area time volume so area is L square and volume is L3 so in the end this become L5 L to the power 5 the next one is displacement which is what's the the height of this displacement of a uh, fluid or liquid so displacement mostly in length so just L and the last one is volume and it says is times 0 0.5 which is half the volume since 0 0.5 is dimensionless and volume is L3 so that become dimensionless times L3 so in the end it just become a volume which is L3 so that's question 3 we move to the next question for question 4a it want it wants us to determine if the following equation are dimensionally correct so for question 4a this is the equation and we have to determine if it's dimensionally dimensionally correct and from this equation where x this is the displacement at time t while x naught is the displacement at time zero and the v naught is the velocity at time zero and t is the time while a is the constant acceleration while the t is time so let's solve this equation not solve let's determine whether it, this equation is dimen dimensionally correct or not so l said here is the displacement which is determined by l and here we have three terms which is x naught v naught time t and half a t square while well, x naught is the displacement so that's this term has only l plus and then we add up with v naught time t while well, v is the velocity so velocity is 
meter per second which is L over time and then we times it by the time itself so that's the second term the third term is acceleration which is velocity over time or meter per second square so L over T square time T square itself so that's the third term so to, so to simplify things so L is equal to L plus this L T is cancelled out ends up with L plus also the T square is cancelled out in the third term so that's become L so in the end uh, it has all the same term so this equation is dimensionally correct dimensionally correct alright so that's question 4a we move to the next question in equation 4b it gives us pressure equal to the square root of rho g h so let's determine whether this equation is dimensionally dimensionally correct or not so let's first start with p which is pressure so p is dimension is m over l t square next is the rho which is the density for density is mass over volume so m over square root of cubic of l well and the next is gravity acceleration which is mass over second square no not mass length over second square over t square and the last one is the height which is l so let's arrange these values into the original equation so p is m over l t square and uh, on the right side is the square root of all terms so it's rho density is m over l3 times gravitational pull which is l over t square and the last one is l so in the end it becomes l becomes m over l square and t2 and still have its square root so on the left side is m over l t square so in general oh this is just l oh sorry my mistake so it only has l there's 2l so l t square so the terms is all similar except for the the square root which is which makes this equation on the right side is not sim dimensionally dimensionally same with the left side so this equation is considered dimensionally incorrect why because the left side is not the same with the right side all right so that's question 4b we move to the next question this is the final question from tutorial 2 and it wants us to explain in detail if this equation is dimensionally consistent so let's first look at this equation which is 
This equation is about the flow through a rectangular wear, whatever it call. And so Q, Q is volumetric flow rate, which is in cubic foot per second. And L is the crest height, which is in feet. Well, H0 is the wear head, which also in feet. Well, G is the gravitational pull, which is 32.2 feet per second square. This is a constant throughout this equation. So let's simplify this for us. So Q is in feet, cubic foot per second, and we have 0 0.415 times L is in feet, minus 0 0.2 H naught is also in feet. And the next term is H naught, which is also in feet. But this time is to the power of 1.5. And then the last term is the square root of 2 times 32.2 feet second square over second square. So we can further simplify things. So the, the left side, which is Q, is still doesn't change cubic foot per second and the total up values of here is about 2.664 and then we can simplify the fit which is the first term is just just one plus because this is mu multiply so oh well let, let's just do multiplication and so this is fit times that and then fit times 1.5 so this is multiplication and then Fit times second square. Alright. Fit second square and it's a square root. So in the end it's 2.664 for the simplified thing. So fit one plus 1.5 so plus so a fit square root is 0 0.5 and for second square you square root it turns to second so in the end this value ends up with 2.664 cubic foot per second so it is the right side the dimension on the right side is similar to the left side. So we can say this is dimensionally consistent because both sides are the same. So what's the dimension value for this? Because fit is in length. So L3 over and second is his time. So L3 over T. Alright, so that's question 5 and that's the end of tutorial 2 for this topic. Alright, thank you.